So, uh, let's give our praises to Yahweh, the brothers and the apostles, and others have been those that are real well, the salutations to the Akira only well, that push the truth in sincerity. Yeah, we're going to continue here between just now, we had a lot of technical difficulties. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 10. Yeah, and right up. By yeah, and right. Yeah. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 9. It says, And mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh Almighty. And you see that they have a judgment to receive for the things that I teach in. Because they say scripture say, um, one to the, the pastors that divide and scatter the sheep. They are actually trying to feed them with knowledge. Because the scripture say, even in the latter day, to say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at times. If you don't have that, it's obvious you'll be unstable when things start to, when hell start to break loose. Yeah, because and they, these false prophets. What you say? Yeah, because they will be they will be they, they are the essential things at that time. Okay. It's like doing the prophecy, and then when it come to pass, doing the name of the Father, the most high son, all these things are knowledge that you'll need to have in the latter times that will help help towards the salvation. You understand, but these false prophets they not they not edifying the sheep up for these things. They're telling them to grow old with women. And we we say um if um if he say I don't know lie what you say any man saying he say um see tell his sister if um if that man don't want to grow old with you kick him to the curve or uh, kind of madness. <laughs> <laughs> like totally against the scriptures. Totally against the scriptures. <laughs> Now they're teaching, they're teaching vanities at their own heart. They're not yeah. teaching according to what the scripture says right and wrong. They're not feeding the sheep with wisdom and understanding. Yeah. You understand? Go ahead. Because you see, because you see, because you see they can't really, oh. as I say, they can't bring out the destruction. Because remember, they are, they're still under the sea tree charter. You know? They yeah. they sell out. So they can bring out the destruction. They can bring out the... the, the RFID microchip as the mark of the beast and all them kind of thing. You know? So that is why they all set up their, their um, treasures here and and be on that vanity thing. How, how you could really tell a woman if a man don't want to grow old she in marriage, kick him to the curb. You know, like, yeah, because I'm madness. How, how, because first to begin with, She's supposed to be subjected to she own husband. Yeah, sir. That matter choice if she wants to be choice. Can it's not a choice. Yeah, son. So that to begin with, that way you went off concerning that woman thing. And and the next thing too, he not even supposed to meddle in that. <laughs> he not supposed to be meddle in that woman and that, that woman and husband thing. What advice you can get concerning if a man don't want to grow old with a woman? That is madness. You understand? Know like to begin with. Right. There you go. Yeah. Good. Right. The easy kill to be. Good, good. I'm a quick piece of fear before you bring on it. Just say this. Just put it into what it is in the city. <laughs> Yo, Nita and all of them, they, but he's very interested in me. I just assure them, do all the light in it. Understand? So they 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 go into the scriptures, but not living according to the scriptures. So then, 
then our next man our next man could could tell me about his wife then or tell tell me wife about need then Do you really do what you like to have, right? Go ahead. I was going to read that same one to him, but as you talk about it, this scripture comes in my head. Ah, uh, I find it. It's first Peter 4. First Peter 4, I was thinking it was 17 and 15. First Peter four. First Peter four fifteen, right? It say, "But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busy or as a busybody in other men's matters." <laughs> a busybody or other people's business. Eventually, you will see. Sometimes a man might he might not understand something properly. He will he will see to one of his elders for counsel. You understand? If you don't understand, you want to go around to come out to the correct way. Yeah. When you don't want to literally meddle in a man business, when it don't concern you, you understand? Yeah. Or you could be you can meddle in that in that husband and, and woman or husband and wife um marriage. You can you can. Maryland, that they know your business, they know your place. So who you could get a woman that advice, especially a, a woman. So you know, so, you know what could go on there too. She will, you know, that woman is. She will have that in the back of she head. So any little thing, exactly, yeah, yeah. Son? She can be get, she could become because they don't wicked already. Yeah. So they, um, they, they John 12 to 35 and say, Then you know, shall I said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. They say, Walk while you have the light, lest darkness come upon you. Because we know the majority of the men who actually in who actually in the circle of the Hebrew Israelites, they started off in one west. So at one point in time, they, they can't be right. They, they did, but they were speaking the same thing. Huh? That, that just like the, the five wise and the five foolish. Can. At one point in time, they were speaking almost the same thing. They were calling upon the most high name. They were speaking similar doctrines. Close enough. You know, they had the one or two altercations with, um, with the Cornelius and so forth. Yeah. But they were teaching that the most high name is... Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, and so on. And after everybody break off, men went to the desires of the one heart. Yeah. Because they want to, you know, they want to go up, go up in the women in the back, or wherever other, wherever other, but their own thing they want to follow. And men make doctrines that actually suit that, that covetousness. Yeah. That is why, and that is why, they can't step to the apostles and them. You know, they can step to the apostle and them because the apostle and them never switch up. You know, they contribute in that doctrine about what I was taught. And even correct certain things too. Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Are you Ezekiel holding still? Yeah, Ezekiel. Yeah, Ezekiel 13 verse 10, right? Let's say, because, even because they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there was no peace, and one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar. Say unto them which do, so like, well. Untempered mortar, that goes back to the first things that they were teaching. You understand? Like a, like a, like a fake structure. You understand? Like what you say, what the scriptures say, you had a bell on the rock. Mm -hmm. that, that, that. I 
verse 11, it says, Say unto them which drop it with untempered mortar, that it shall fall. There shall be an shall. overflowing shower, and ye, O great hailstones, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rend it. Because when, when, when the time, when the, when the time, the time really come to show you that they, wait to see the believing was a lie. Let's get just say, um, um, the short shops, the short find that, um, that our fathers had inherited lies. So, like, all them, all them lies that actually passed, you know, to the people, you will see that it was, it was wrong. That's some, that's some camps actually teaching you uh, about being pro prosperous. That's some camps teaching you about, um, uh, either might be safe. Mm -hmm. All these, all these fake walls they're building up. When the time comes that all them walls get thrown down because you find all the truth, two thirds of Israel will be in shame. Yeah, because, because you know what, so like, eh? uh -huh. it comes that teaching that either might get saved, could get saved, right? You remember, is he so who in control of them? Yeah, that's what they're saying. So that. that's why. The, the old switch doctrine and set out either might get, get safe because they accepted that they will accept either might be, because the under Esau. You understand? So that is why, therefore, they wouldn't tell, they wouldn't tell, they wouldn't prophesy against Esau. They wouldn't prophesy against um, the either might and say, well, hey, you know what? All are going into slavery, all are going and get destroyed. They wouldn't do that. Our precept here, Akbai. The um, Isaiah 56, verse 10. It says, Watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. And really and truly, they really, they really slumber us. Because you know what? If they wasn't slumbering in the first place, you know, they wouldn't take that, that, that Judas purse because it would have been in the spirit. Uh, exactly, and there was ordained for that. So, really and truly, that why the scriptures say the most in control of all spirits. You know what I mean? That is them part of the play. You know, tell them the same thing they have that the, the, the device overheating. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I know if it's because the battery low or the charge, you know, something. I, I, I really don't know why. Right? It's Jeremiah 23. I'll start from 16, right? It's say, um, thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. Right, because you know, scripture also say, I'm your ear prophet on, on, of his own heart. Mm -hmm. That was figured with his own understanding. Mm -hmm. It's paraphrasing it. Right? See, um, see, they make you vain. They speak a vision of their own hearts and not of the mouth of the Lord. Yeah. Uh, the way they find you should do. Like, like, like men trying to be men out of one um, in, 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 um, in Israel. Yeah, they're trying to, to teach men. They just keep the same. Um, strive not, strive not for many masteries. Yeah. Like they just want to be masters of our people. Yeah. They ain't they studying to actually to feed them and teach them the correct thing. Yeah. You know, understand? Actually, doing what the most I say to do. They want men to do what they want them to do. You know that kind of way. Yeah. They say, um, they say, they say still unto them that despise me. They say them, them that despise me because I show the most I despise them by what is by going against we see and by teaching against we see. Right? The Lord had said, You shall have peace, <laughs> and they say unto every everyone that walk is after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. And you see that in these camps, you know, see men marking up, men have long grass yeah. and all kind of things that are not supposed to have. And men just joining them camps because it suits waiters they want them to do yeah, and not what they're supposed to do. Yeah, because them camp a man do a man could mark, as they say. A man do have yeah. to study about not marking. You know, I don't remember yeah. I remember 
So like, go ahead. I, I remember, I remember about the, um, the match where I had the other day. The match against violence. That is straight, straight up against the scriptures. No, but Being led astray by these these clones, thinking that they're doing some good because really and truly there is some in block too for some of them, you know. But that that match alone, that is against that against the scriptures, baby. Right? Why they match against the why they match against World War Three? The war that is about to come. Why do you match against that? Why you marching? Why do you go on a fast and pray? So it ain't gonna have no World War. That really bugged out there. That really bugged out there. And, 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 can it, 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 it does be frightening just to show that's so because they're only most I could hire by it. It'll be frightening that why you have to fear you, but you have to fear how about shame your side. But I tell you, it's a sure thing. Can you want to try the motor? Is all these scriptures say that you strike it madness, strike them with madness. Okay. Before you close off, okay. right? See, uh, this is Mark 7, I'll start from 6, right? You see, answer and said unto them, Well, had Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Okay. You see, how be they worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. And the country that when the men does live by, they will live by the commandments of the scriptures to live by what they find they should do. Like, like, like Christianity mentality. Like, 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 their own way of doing things. And we know those people are going to be destroyed. I think we'll be able to close off on until the next video. I see iPhones just exploding plenty these days. I want to see a phone probably. Right? They just are part two, you know, to the video that we had done before. You know, this is a continuation to it, really. You know, because of the technical difficulties that we're facing again. So, you hope it was edifying to your Bashami Oshai. You know, once again, we give all praises to your Hawa, Bashami Oshai, Basham Kapodash, you know, double honor to the apostle and the elders of Great Melson at Rule Well. You know, salutation to the Akima across the globe, you know, that in GMS and those that, that, that push the same doctrine in all truth and sincerity, you know, all across the globe. You know, we say shalom.